We're back with another episode of Ask an Actuary. Joining me today is Andrew Taggart, one of our expert consulting actuaries here at Odyssey to talk about 415 benefit limits. Thanks for joining me today, Andrew. Thanks. So can you explain what the 415 benefit limits are? Yeah, the 415 benefit limits are the maximum allowable benefits that can be paid out of a defined benefit plan. Most people call those pension plans. There are two limits for those benefits that are compared against each other, and you take the lower of the two. There's the compensation limit and the dollar limit. The compensation limit compares the annuity uh, from the plan against the average limited compensation uh, for the last three years uh, for that participant. The limited compensation refers to salary being capped at a certain amount that the, the government tells uh, us, and that's used in the pension calculations. The dollar limit is just an annual dollar limit for the annuity benefit. The dollar limit in 2024 was $275,000. And do these limits change? Yeah, the limits uh, change in a few different ways uh, for each person individually. Firstly, the limit is changed every year for everyone uh, to account for inflation, but, uh, and that's set by the IRS each year. For instance, the dollar limit in 2024 was $275,000, but it was $265,000 in 2023. Um, secondly, both of the limits require that you have 10 years of service in the plan, and if you have less than 10 years, it's prorated based on how many years you do have. So if you have five years of service, then the limit would be cut in half. Lastly, the dollar limit uh, is adjusted based on your age. It increases when you're over age 65 and it decreases for when you're under the normal retirement age, which is usually 62 in the plans that we administer. Is there anything else that we should remember before I let you go? Yeah, uh, it's important to note that these limits are uh, designed for annuities. Sometimes plans are designed for you to take a lump sum option, um, and these dollar amounts have to do with the annuity that's underlying that lump sum benefit. Um, and there's a way that we calculate the limit that applies to lump sums based on those annuity limits. Um, and you should always consult your actuary to ensure that you don't go over these limits because when you go over the 415 limit, it can be very challenging and expensive to be able to actually get the money out of the plan um, and correct that. So it's crucial to stay within those boundaries and uh, safeguard all your uh, retirement savings. Yeah, and before we wrap up, it's it's definitely crucial to remember that these benefit limits are there for a reason to, like you said, to protect your retirement savings and ensure fair distributions. As a viewer, if you're unsure of na about navigating these limits or have any questions about your specific plan, don't hesitate to reach out Going over these limits can be tricky to correct and potentially costly, just as Andrew mentioned. So it's always better to be safe than sorry. Yep. Thanks again, Andrew. And to our viewers, if you have any questions or a topic you'd like us to cover in future episodes, please drop us a comment down below. Until next time.